Hey, what's up guys, welcome to Trending Reviews. So today I've received this product from a company called Heimvision. It's a video baby monitoring system called the HM136. If you've come across this and you're thinking about buying it, then this is the review for you. So today I'm gonna to give you an unboxing, a setup review, and an overall video review on how this performs. And it comes with a five inch monitor as well, alongside the little CCTV monitoring um, gadget. So let's go ahead and set this up and uh, see what you guys think. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this. Right, so you have a couple of little uh, welcome and thank you cards there. You have the main user manual, pretty detailed, comes in multiple languages. And this is actually quite nice. It's larger than I thought based on the pictures that you see on the website, which I think is pretty cool. It's quite lightweight as well, so if you are going to be putting this into your child's uh, bedroom, then obviously having a nice design which they can be comfortable with rather than some sort of CCTV looking camera right in their face, then this definitely does a good job. Let's see what's under here. So we have a whole load of accessories. You've got some screws if you wanted to mount this onto a wall. This is that wall mount that comes with it. You have two plug adapters and two cables, one for the monitor and one for the actual camera. And inside here will be the five inch LCD screen. Let's pull this up. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the covering there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair this with the actual camera as well and uh, give you guys an overview on that. Okay, so just to give you a high level overview of the main specifications on this, this is actually a 720p HD camera. So it's not quite the 1080p that you might get in the high end ones. It does have two way audio as well, so you can communicate backwards and forwards from the camera and the actual LCD screen. It's also got a temperature and sound alarm as well. So if the temperature drops or goes above a certain point that you can set, then it will send an alarm through the screen. And it also has night vision with an invisible IR LED on the actual camera itself. And it does give you 355 degree rotation as well as 110 degree wide angle view on the actual camera as well to spin upwards and downwards. And it gives you a range of up to 900 feet, which is awesome. And that just is compatible with even the largest of houses. Now, the good thing about this model is that you can pair up to four cameras and have that connected and visible on one LCD screen. So that's perfect if you have more than one baby and you wanted to monitor it around different rooms, for example. So that is an awesome plus on that part. Now, the actual monitor itself is 2,100 milliamp hours, which gives you about four to five hours of battery life if you do choose to use it on a battery rather than the power outlet, but it takes about four hours to give you a full charge. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug both of these in. I've got them connected there via the micro USB cables on both ends and to quickly just give you an overview of the different buttons that come onto this LCD screen so you have the menu button there on the top left this is a switch camera button so if you wanted to switch between multiple cameras rather than just a single one if you have set it up with more than one then you can do that from here you have the navigational item buttons here so you can navigate through the different menu items you have the ok button as well as the zoom button as well if you wanted to zoom in a little bit more on the actual video you also have the microphone button there to start talking in a two-way chat. This is the volume and the brightness levels. Just along the bottom there, you can actually see the sound level indicated there. So if there's a lot of crying coming from the baby's room, then this should be quite high up and you'll immediately see that there's a lot of noise coming through. And then there's a microphone button there as well. At the back, you have just the monitor stand there, the compartment for the batteries, and along the top, you have the on button there, which is the power button. And then finally, you have the antenna, which pops out from here just to give you a better signal to your actual camera. So that's everything that comes on the LCD monitor. Now on the back of the actual camera itself, you have the micro USB charging port. You have a little antenna there as well. And then you also have this black button here, which is the pairing button, which I'll show you in a second. At the bottom, you can also mount this with the uh, mount that comes in the box, as I showed earlier, and screw it onto there and then into a wall. There's also a speaker there, and then you also have the microphone there on the front of the actual device. So let's go ahead, turn both of these on, and uh, let's pair them up. So as you can see, it comes paired straight away out of the box. This is my hand here, and I'm just gonna move the camera back a little bit, just so you can see. Now you see this is buzzing, it's because I'm speaking quite loudly to the actual camera, and it's giving me a notification that it's actually too close 
and the sound levels are very high. If I go into menu, let's go into sound detection. It's currently on medium, so I can change that to be low or I can turn that off for now while I'm giving you a review. Let's go back. Temperature alarm, you can change the units that you'd like to display it in. So I work in Celsius, so I'll do that there. And then you can have this on or off. So if I turn that on, you can change that there as well. You can set the language and then you can also play some lullabies as well from the actual camera. So if I select here, right. So you can see there's a few selections here about five and then you have all so it doesn't tell you the name of the song so let me go ahead and play this first one so it's more like calming music but it's not too bad and then if you go to three Now there's various amounts of these, so you can cycle through and play whichever one you like. And currently I'm getting some audio feedback is because I'm right next to the camera and the two way talk is on. You also have something called sleep mode. So if there's an inactivity of a certain amount of time, then you can set that here. I'll just turn that off for now. Feeding basically gives you an alarm to give you a reminder of when to feed the baby as well. So every three hours maybe or whatever you like. So you can select that here. And then lastly, you have settings in there. You can set the date and time, see the factory settings to reset the device, or you can actually contact them, which is quite a nice feature to have uh, from a support perspective. And what I'll do is I'll just adjust the brightness and volume. There we go. So I've just muted it. So let me go ahead and set the camera in a proper location and give you guys an overview of how to control it. Okay guys, so I've moved the camera a little bit further away. So as you can see here, now for me, it's a pretty good quality. It's not obviously the highest high definition that you can get. Now to test the lag, I'm going to wave and I can see that it's pretty much almost real time. Maybe it could be a little bit faster, but I think it's pretty much there. It's accurate. It's actually not too bad. Obviously the colors in the actual screen and the brightness and the lighting is not high end, but obviously if the price you're paying for this type of device, then you get what you pay for. And I think what you pay for is actually definitely worth this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face the actual camera and then give you a speech to try and match my voice to the actual video. So you can test to see what the lag looks like itself. So let me move this a little bit closer. Hey guys, so this is the Heimvision HM136 video baby monitoring system. So I'm just giving you a test. So hopefully you can see if my voice is matching the video on the actual LCD monitor. So let me know if it's a uh, pretty good uh, in that sense. Hopefully you guys caught that and hopefully it was a little bit clear. Maybe you can see it from the camera for me, I think this is pretty awesome. I can see the battery life there on the top. I can see the temperature. So on the top left, you can see the signal strength there as well of the actual camera, just to see that it's not delayed or blocked or anything and it should be working smoothly. So pretty happy with this. I'm gonna be setting this up. And to be honest, even if you don't have a baby in the house, you can actually use this as just a normal CCTV monitoring system. So if you point the camera maybe outside towards your front door, maybe out the window, then you can use this to monitor the front door if you're getting deliveries or anything like that and set this up in your kitchen. So it's multi-purpose. Of course, this is definitely made for those people that have babies so you can utilize functions such as the lullabies and maybe check to see if the temperature in the room is okay and uh, talk two ways as well. So for me, that's a, a bonus. So whatever purpose you may use this for, I think it's done an excellent job. And I will definitely recommend this to anyone that has small children in the house that need monitoring. Okay guys, so that was pretty much everything I wanted to showcase. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
Now this comes in at just under £120 on the Home Vision website and just under £86 on the Amazon UK website. So I'll have a link in the description below of where you can purchase this from both those locations. So do check them out. They do an awesome set of products for monitoring and CCTV purposes. So I think you're really gonna like what they do. So for me, I'm definitely gonna be utilizing this in the house going forward. And I think it's just really cool having that little monitor set up wherever you need to. And I think the signal strength is really good in this. I might even try using this with the uh, front door situation where I'll just point it out of the window, set this monitoring system up in the kitchen just to see if I'm getting any parcels. And until I start having kids of my own, then this will be obviously changing the purpose of why I will use it. So for you guys that really wanna use this for baby monitoring, it's perfect. Go ahead, check them out. I think for the price you're paying, you're gonna get an awesome piece of kit and I didn't even need to set it up much. It just came working straight out of the box. So one thing I really like about products like this is the ease of setup and ease of use. It's so simple. So for me, it's a big win. So I hope you like that review. And if there's anything else you wanna know, then do drop a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.